everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here's the latest, the latest video. So, the elusive Chibson Les Paul? What is a Chibson? All right, it's elusive. It looks wonderful, it looks glorious. It says Gibson on the headstock. So what is this thing? Well, it's a Chinese knockoff. It's a lawsuit, Les Paul. Gibson, I don't even think there's a lawsuit. I think Gibson doesn't even care that China's reproducing these, replicating them, copying them, doing whatever the heck that they want with them. But God bless it, I love it so, because for $350, you can buy a 59 Les Paul reissue Relict. It's got the nitro checking on it, mahogany. You can upgrade to the full flame maple top. It's got all the right pieces, all the right parts, all the right wood but there's a few things missing. Let's get into that right now. So this looks like a Les Paul, right? But this is a Les Paul made in China. And you can find these on certain websites, uh, DHgate, AliExpress. Um, there's some eBay accounts that have them. And a lot of times they'll just show the body, show everything but the actual logo. I don't know if Gibson's really concerned about these, these chipsons because, um, they're kind of missing the boat on a few things, but they're also doing some things really well. So let's get into that. $350 you need to wait sometimes three months sometimes four months from this to ship overseas on a boat from China so if you've got the patience it might be worth the investment but can you play these things straight out of the box no will it sound okay yeah can you gig with it not really this is a 59 reissue Les Paul relict um, what's really cool is like uh, scale to scale, if you look at it against a real Les Paul, uh, they look exactly the same. So they did a great job copying that. I think their bindery work looks pretty dang good. Um, their dots on the frets can sometimes get a little inconsistent and their inlay work is a little inconsistent. You, go, you can kind of see on the zoom in here that there's a lot of um, filler compared to a real Les Paul. So their inlay work needs some work. Um, their placement of the Gibson logo needs a little bit of work. Um, but honestly, if you're not meticulous and you don't care, it looks like a Gibson from 10 feet away. And um, I think that's the thing that's really cool about it. <laughs> things about this guitar basically it needs a grind and polish and fret leveling as soon as you get the guitar so they don't come super straight uh, from the factory next is the fret edges um, they do a good job getting it right along the binding but the problem is, is they don't file the edges in the corners here so if you're sliding doing things like this with your fingers it's sharp so again you got to take it to a luthier to get that grind and polish unless you can know how to do that stuff yourself Next, the pickups. They're terrible. They sound terrible. They're really terrible. I wouldn't uh, give them to a beginner. Uh, so you are gonna have to replace the pickups. Switches, all the internal guts, the wiring, pots, capacitors, all that stuff you wanna change out. It's just garbage, absolute garbage. But 
if you're a DIYer and like to have fun changing stuff out and making your guitars your own, it's a perfect platform to do that. Really cool. These vintage tuners on the back look pretty cool. Definitely not like full metal like you get on a real one. Uh, but overall, pretty fun guitar. Fairly light, not super heavy. So when it's all said and done, if you have the patience to wait for three months, take this thing directly to a luthier or know how to do um, a fret leveling and a grind and polish yourself. You're gonna have to do that right away. Changing out the pickups, changing out the electronics, that's probably another four to five hundred dollars worth of work that you need to put into this guitar. So, is nine hundred dollars worth a Gibson Les Paul from ten feet away that people really kind of won't know that it's fake? Or could you find a nine hundred dollar Les Paul, a real one, on offer up or Craigslist or something like that? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? I think it's kind of fun. I wouldn't buy a ton of them, but hey, one was worth it. Check y'all later.